It has some of the most beautiful scenery in Britain. Lively seaside resorts with miles of golden sands. We're taking a break in Denbyshire, the place where Wales becomes the world. Kevin Harris and welcome to another edition of Britain's Best Breaks. We'll be taking a look around the lovely Welsh borderland. I'm Francesca Robinson and on Britain's Best Breaks we're going to show you Denbyshire's sunny coastline combined with an area packed with things to see and do makes this the perfect place to take a break. On Britain's Best Breaks we help you make all the right choices when you're planning your holiday. Stretching between the resorts of Rill and Prestatyn are six miles of golden sand. Perfect for the family seaside holiday. Take a boat ride into the bay, fancy a spot of sea fishing, you can book a trip at Rills Harbour. Rills Clean Beach has added that dimension of safety. At seasonal peaks you'll find lifeguards on patrol, so as well as Rills other attractions, you and your family can enjoy a swim in the sea. Standing coastal landmark on Rills Promenade, the Sky Tower, a 240-foot observation gyro tower, has been thrilling visitors since 1993. Your ride to the top takes about five minutes. The observation car rotates as it lifts around the central column, rising to 210 feet. It's certainly worth the ride because the views of Rill and Denbyshire are fantastic. Handy for the rail station and coach depot and with plenty of parking space, the Rill Sun Centre has something for all the family. This was the first leisure pool in Europe to feature indoor surfing. rides such as the Buzz, the Black Hole and Dragon Slide are as exciting as they come. Have a rest and top up your tan on the sun deck. Rill is well served with a number of top visitor attractions and when it comes to live entertainment the Pavilion Theatre leads the field. Opened in 1991 and seating over a thousand people, you can see everything here from G4 to the X Factor. And throughout the season, there's always plenty of top-line entertainment for all the family. Real Seaquarium offers a peek into the fascinating world of fish without actually getting wet. In the underwater tunnel, the first one in Wales, you get really close to some wonderful creatures. You can explore different habitats with hundreds of animals from different species, from freshwater mountain lakes to the deepest ocean. With a restaurant and a gift shop, this educational attraction has something for everyone. Teen Rill is a house with history. When you dine here at Barrett's Restaurant, you'll be accompanied by over six centuries of Welsh heritage. Every room tells a story. This is the headboard from the bed of Henry VIII's first wife, Catherine of Aragon. The cuisine is modern French European and with award-winning chef David Barrett, you can expect excellent food and you'll not be disappointed. Fine food and living history, this is quite a combination. 
Rills Marine Lake has been an attraction for locals and visitors now for over a century. And with current redevelopments, this pleasant stretch of water looks set to provide recreation for generations to come. A fun way to enjoy the lake is to take a trip around its shores on the Rill Miniature Railway, which was built in 1911. This is Britain's oldest miniature railway, and its steam train dates back to the 1920s. Impressively, they still operate in excellent condition. For a break, you can't do better than a seaside holiday park. At Lions Robin Hood Holiday Park, you're nicely situated between Rill and Prestatyn. You'll find everything here for a fun-packed family holiday. The caravans or chalets can accommodate from two to eight people and all your comforts are taken care of. There's plenty to do whether you just want to relax or join in the fun, no matter what your age. The only national trail to follow a man-made feature off as Dyke Path is one of 12 designated national trails. As Prestatin is the most northerly point of the trail, during the season this centre provides a visual presentation about Offers Dyke, including a variety of information for walkers and visitors to the area. Built by Offa, King of Mercia in 757 to 796 AD, the dyke forms the boundary between England and Wales. A popular place to eat in Prestatyn, Nant Hall is a Grade II listed Victorian house nestling in seven acres of grounds. You'll find four spacious dining areas, all individually designed, and there's a pleasant, informal atmosphere throughout. It's also a great spot to stop for a drink, but what keeps this place busy is its reputation for good food. All the chefs are members of the Welsh Culinary Association. They serve modern British cuisine using only the finest Welsh produce. Open all day, Nant Hall's attractive location is ideal for a family meal. This breathtaking North Wales borderlands region is an area which has benefited greatly in recent years from European Objective One funding. This is a place of outstanding beauty, studded with charming towns and small villages, and, as we'll see, a land of castles and kings. These unusual windows have looked out over the historic town of Rhythm since the 16th century. They're known today as the Eyes of Rhythm. And the eyes of Rithin have seen a lot over the centuries. According to legend, upon this stone, mine hail, after being crossed in love, King Arthur had a local man hail, beheaded. It's not every day that you get to stay in a castle, but here at Rithin Castle Hotel, you can do just that. Magical and romantic, with acres of gardens, woods and parkland, this is accommodation in a class of its own. There's nothing formal or intimidating about staying here. Brithin is as friendly a castle as any in Wales, and it's one of the most interesting. This is the award-winning Prince of Wales dining room, where your appetite will be satisfied with fine food in a genuinely romantic setting. Each of the 62 comfortable rooms has its own individual feel. There's an impressive, friendly atmosphere of history looking over your shoulder, making this a perfect venue for any occasion. So, if you've ever wondered what it's like to be lord and master of all that you survey, make your way to Rithin. The baronial Rithin castle dates from 1277. It was attacked by the great Welsh patriot Owen Glyndwar in the 15th century and again by parliamentary forces during the Civil War. Legend has it that the place is haunted. Nestling on the banks of two rivers, the Elwy and the Clwyd, St Asaph is a tranquil, welcoming town with some of the finest scenery in Wales. 